Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an easy way to make brown using three simple colors, red, yellow, and blue. Now red, yellow, and blue are primary colors, meaning you cannot create them using any other color, but you can um, create any other color under the sun using these three colors. So to start out with, we're going to start with equal amounts of red, blue, and yellow, and we're going to mix it with a palette knife. And also to mention, you can use any red, any blue, any yellow you have currently on hand. Um, for this, I'm just using cadmium red medium hue, primary yellow, and phthalo blue, simply because I had that on hand, but you can use any red, yellow, and blue. So we're going to take our palette knife and just we're going to mix it together. And we have a big pile of, of paint because we're actually going to be separating it into four equal piles to make a slew of um, brown tones. So we're just going to take our time and mix them all up until we get a nice dark chocolate brown. So once you're done mixing the brown, it should be a nice chocolatey brown color. So what we're going to do next is um, I'm going to just paint a swatch of it on a simple watercolor paper. Um, so we have a swatch of different browns we're going to make. We're, in, in this video, we're going to make about 20 of them using these basic colors. So we're just going to take a paintbrush and we're just going to take a little bit of that brown and we're going to add it into um, onto our paper. Just a little swatch here. And I've labeled it just so I know my uh, paint mixes. So this is uh, basically equal parts uh, yellow, blue, and red. Like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to separate this pile into four equal piles because I'm going to show you how varying the ratio of the yellow, red, and blue can alter our brown color. And we can get a variety of different browns with that. So we're just going to divide that into four equal piles, our palette. Okay, so now we're going to be creating um, a more, we're going to be adding more yellow into um, one of our piles here. Uh, so we're, I'm going to show you how to create more of a yellowy golden uh, yellow and also it lightens it up a little bit as well. So we're going to add about, I would say, a dime size amount of that yellow into that other pile. A dime or a nickel size amount depending on your piles of paint and then we're just going to take our palette knife and we're just going to mix it and you're going to notice that the brown starts changing its um, its color and becoming a little bit lighter a little bit more golden and later on in the video when we add white to these brown mixtures you're going to see a, a, a variety of different browns that you can you can get with the, with these mixtures When it's nice and mixed, then we're going to grab our paintbrush and we're going to take a little bit of that brown we created with adding more yellow and we're going to add a swatch of that to this paper here. And I've labeled it yellow, blue, red with ratio two to one to one. So this has slightly more yellow in it. And you can't really tell the difference right now because the browns are really super dark. But once we add that white into it, you're going to see how different they are. Okay, so now we're going to be adding our red. So we're going to take our um, other pile right over here. and We're going to add a same amount of red, like a nickel or dime size amount of red. Like that, depending on your pile of paint. And then we're going to take our palette knife and we're going to mix. So this brown is going to be a little bit more rosier and warm. And the nature of brown paint is actually, it, it's warm. Brown is a warm color. So you get some really nice browns uh, by adding more red, playing around with the different ratios of red and yellow. Blue, you'll get, um, you have to be really, in the next step, I'm going to show you the blue. You have to use it very sparingly because that brown can then turn gray if we add too much of it. But with the yellows and reds, it's nice to play around with the different ratios to get diff a different variety of warm browns. So there we go. When it's nice and mixed, I'm going to take our paintbrush and we're going to pick up some of that beautiful red-brown paint and we're just going to add swatch of it here and I've labeled it yellow blue red one to two to one so, that 
Okay, and the last pile, we're gonna add some blue. So we're gonna add, oh, so here we don't wanna add as much yellow and red as we add in these two piles. We wanna add a little bit less because we don't want, I'll show you on the, the swatch I did when I added equal amounts of, um, I don't wanna mess up there. Um, so that, when I added um, lots of blue into the mixture, it kinda turned it more of gray tones. So if you're looking for grays, that's a great way of making some nice gray tones, is adding a little bit more blue to your brown. But if you wanna stay in that warmer brown color, then adding a little bit less of that blue um, at a time, uh, we can darken that brown up and um, create some nice browns. So we're gonna take that blue, we're gonna add maybe like just a tiny bit, a smidgen of it, like that. And we can always add more as we go. So it's easier to add small amounts of mixture at a time. That way the mix doesn't become overpowered with that color. There we go. So that's a little bit darker than that base brown. So it should give us nice darker browns with a, like a cooler um, vibe to them. There we go. So we're gonna grab our brush. Clean it off. We want to make sure our brush is nice and clean so the previous mixture we have on our brush doesn't interfere with that color. We want a pure color. So we're going to take that color and we're just going to add it onto our paper here as that swatch. Okay, so now we have four different varieties of browns, uh, but now we can add a whole bunch more by simply adding white into our mixture um, in small amounts. Uh, so we're just going to take some some titanium white and we're going to start with our original base brown mixture which was your equal parts yellow blue and red and we're just going to add a little bit of white into a pile like that and we're going to add small amounts at a time because we're going to create uh, varying uh, shades of that brown or sorry tints of that brown starting at the darkest and it's going to go to the lightest at the end so we're going to create so we're just going to pick up maybe let's say less than a dime size amount of that white because white does lighten pretty fast as well. And we want to create a variety of browns here. So we're just gonna mix in that white with that brown. Go, so that's lightened it up nicely. Adding white to these colors, you get to see all the different um, undertones and uh, to that brown that you've created which is really nice because when it's, when it's really dark, it's very difficult to see them. So this one is like a nice chocolatey brown. Make a nice uh, hot chocolate painting with this brown. So we're gonna pick up some of that with our paintbrush and we're gonna add it in this pile over here. So I've labeled this column here as one part white and then the next column is two parts white, three parts white and four parts. So we're gonna incrementally add more white into our mixture to get those varieties of brown. There we go. And then we're gonna add in a little bit more of that white. So we're gonna add in the same amount of white we added before to our mixture so it lightens it up even more. Okay, that is nice and mixed. We clean up our brush. We'll grab a little bit of that mixture. And we're gonna, oops, grabbed. Okay, and we're gonna add it in the two parts white column. So it's lighter, even lighter than the last one. Let's go. There we go. And then we're going to create, gonna add a little bit more white to the mixture. Mix it up. And we're just gonna repeat that until we're done with these columns here. Okay. Three parts white. Go. And then we're just gonna add the remaining white we have on our palette and we're just gonna mix it in to that brown mixture. This one is more like, now that we've lightened it up with this white, it looks more of a, like a, a taupey brown up our brush, grab a little bit of that brown, add it to the 
Oh, that one looks very similar to the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more white. Just to lighten it up even more. Because we're starting out with big piles of paint. So it takes a lot of that white to lighten it up. So We're done with the original equal amounts of yellow, red, and blue. Now we're going to move on to the, uh, the, the pile that had more yellow to it. So we added um, a little bit extra yellow to that base brown. And we're going to do the same exercise. So we're going to put in um, a blob of white, titanium white to our palette, and we're going to incrementally create different, very, different tints of that brown um, using that white. So we're going to do the same activity, and then we're going to add them to our swatch there. Now we're going to do the same thing with that mixture that had a little bit more blue to it. So you can see that this blue mixture, this one we added with the add, adding blue to it. I think I added a little bit too much blue. So now it's turning a little bit gray when I add white to it. So you can see that come up more. So if you want to counteract that and still stay in the browns, then you can go ahead and add um, either the red or the yellow. Add a little bit more red or yellow to counteract that blue. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to this to see if I can get that back to more of a warm brown hue. So it's getting there. Yeah, that's more of a taupe. Now you can go ahead and maybe, I'm gonna try adding a little bit of yellow. So you can play around with the ratios here. Uh, but just know that to get more of those brown tones, um, usually you need a little bit more of the yellow or the red, which are warmer colors, in with that mixture. And a little bit less of that blue. If you want more grays, gray browns, then add a little bit more blue. There we go. That's more of a brown now. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna grab paintbrush. And I'm just gonna add it here. And the reason I labeled them too is just it makes it easier when you come back to, um, if you have a painting you wanna do and you know exactly the color you want, you have the exact mix right there. You don't have to guess and try to recreate that color. Um, from scratch so it just helps speed things up okay so we're just going to take a little bit more of that white created 20 different types of brown using four different colors. Our three primaries, which is the yellow, red, and blue, and adding white to get um, a variety of tints of brown for each of those combinations. 
So now I wanted to go over and do a quick exercise, which is good to do once you have your swatches made, is to analyze the colors and to see the difference between them, which is what helps um, uh, with learning about different colors and how they work together. So if we look at the first row here, this is the equal parts yellow, blue, and red. And as you can see here, it's like a nice chocolatey brown, and then it kind of graduates to a nice taupe. So these colors would go good for um, like wood colors, trees, uh, shadows and, and portraits, um, even chocolate. So this one here is when we added a little bit more yellow to the mixture. As you can see here, it's more golden. So this would look beautiful for um, trees in the foreground when the sun is hitting down on trees, as beautiful sand colors, skin tones that have a little bit more yellow in them as well. So for the um, the row or so the col the row here with a little bit more blue added to it. Here I had added a little bit more blue, so it, it turned out a little bit more gr on the gray end, uh, but that would also work well for shadows, mountains, or even rocks. And finally, we have a beautiful uh, brown that has a little bit more red in with it, so it warms it up really nice, and that would work well, really well for rosy blush skin tones, uh, cedar or red tinged wood, or even coffee.